So I want to answer a frequently asked question on this channel. A lot of people will see me walking around forests that look like this. That is, a whole bunch of pines, and if you notice, the pines are all in a row. Now, I don't know, this seems like a very basic thing, I guess, but if you're a city slicker, you might not know what this is. This isn't some weird Minecraft mod, as people often ask me. This is actually just a pine farm, okay? If you actually look at it, I mean, all these trees were deliberately planted. As you can see, the forest floor, the forest floor, if you want to call it a forest, is uh, littered with pine leaves, pine needles. Um, basically what happens in most rural areas around here, I mean, this isn't just where I happen to live. This is like, honestly, a lot of places in America, probably in other countries as well. You just grow pine trees, right? So this is like a crop, <laughs> basically. So the pine trees take around, I'll show, you, I'll, I'll show you different life cycles, different stages of development. These are pretty close to being, uh, you know, I think they're actually about to be cut pretty soon. Uh, they're around 20 years old. If you look behind me though, if you look behind here, um, these are more recently tr planted pines. Now, first off, there's a bunch of brush here. Obviously, you know, it has to be maintained if they're growing pine trees because a bunch of other stuff will grow in here. So they'll take tractors through the lanes or whatever and clear them out. But these, I want to say, I mean, these used to be big pines that were cut down maybe five years or so ago. And now there are new little pines in there. There's so much brush here that you can't really get in there. But again, they take tractors through it every once in a while. Um, and then over here, as I said, these I think are just about to be cut. But if you look over here, these have just, these have just been cut, okay? So it actually smells nice like, you know, pine needles or whatever. It just smells like, you know, freshly cut pine. If you look over there, yeah, you probably can't see it, but there's, um, there's like a logging truck. There's like a, you know, vehicle getting rid of the logs and stuff like that. So basically, in a lot of rural environments, what people will do, it's actually weird. Let me just go ahead and say it's weird because... You know, I film videos in this area, you know, it's like, uh, it's weird like when you live around like a big, uh, a bunch of trees that have been there for like 20 years and then they get cut and you can like see the highway over there or something like that, it's just weird. Um, and uh, that happens like just different, every, every couple of years like a, a square of them will be cut. Um, but yeah, this is how a lot of people make money now. Um, if you happen to have, if you happen to have several hundred acres or maybe a hundred acres in the country, um, it, this is actually a good way to make at least a little bit of passive income in that um, uh, Let's say you have a hundred two hundred acres uh, You can basically just sign up with a company and uh, you don't have to do anything You don't have to do it yourself. They actually do all the work They plant the trees or sometimes different companies will plant the trees, but they they maintain the, the land You don't even have to deal with it and they basically pay you um, and the price can vary like I think I, I you know, it can vary a lot, but from what I've heard, like a 20-year cycle, let's say you have between 100, 200 acres, uh, you might end up getting $100,000 for the whole thing, uh, which, you know, might not be that much. Honestly, well, this is land in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, you're putting to use some of this land. If, if you're putting it to use for, like, you know, $5,000 a year, that's, like, not too bad. I mean, that's okay passive income. Of course, there are downsides. Like, I consider there to be a downside in the sense that, Honestly, I find these, like a lot of people will say in my videos, oh wow, that's such a transfixing forest and stuff like that. But it, it honestly is weird when like a lot of the, there really are very few natural forests around here because a lot of it is just like these pine farms um, pretty close to where I live. And this is honestly, this isn't just where I live again. This is like something very common in rural America. If you want like a more natural uh, forest, you basically have to walk to the river or someplace where they happen not to do pine farming or you have to go to, uh, you know, a hunting ground or something like that. But uh, yeah, I think the river is usually the most consistent place because, you know, obviously you don't want to, you know, have your trees get inundated with like the next hurricane or something. But yeah, this is a very common thing that people do. Um, I don't own any land that, well, technically I do have some pines on my several acres, uh, but they, the, it's weird. The trees don't belong to me. They belong to like some relative who I don't never even own the land. I think she just planted trees on it or something. It's weird. It's weird how it works out. But um, yeah, so uh, which I think those are going to get cut in a little bit, and I'm not. I'm not going to like that. I, I think I sort of like them how they are. But whatever. Um, yeah. So that's pine farming. Now you know.